Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent. Now, we hadn't planned on making this video until very last second. We had something else in the works for you. And then we got a text containing a video, which you just saw of this TT going off-roading. Now, the story is that this TT is owned by the friend of the guy who owns the WRX that we did last week. Now, if you guys didn't see that video, we took a 2022 WRX that was just taken off-roading and we completely cleaned it up. It was a lease. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out after this video is over. But this TT is nothing less than completely covered in mud as well. So we had our work cut out for us. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you need to right now because next week we found something crazy in an abandoned garage and something even crazier in the engine bay. So be subscribed with your notifications on. You do not want to miss that video. Now we started off by spraying all the mud off the car, but you'll notice that we didn't go in depth on the wheels and the wheel wells. And that's because we took the wheels off and then we were able to really get in there so when it gets to that point don't worry we made sure to get all the mud off this car So for the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. What do you guys think the car for next week's video is? And also, what do you think we found in the engine bay? Let us know. And while we're on the topic real quick of the comment section, if you guys notice anyone commenting saying that they're giving something away and a text a number while using our profile picture and name, that is not us. That is a scammer and we keep blocking them and they're making brand new accounts. So we're trying to work with YouTube to get that situated. Just so you guys know, we are aware of the situation going on, but that's something that unfortunately, no matter how hard we try and how many times we block them, they just keep coming back. Now with a majority of the mud sprayed off, it was time to get this car off the ground and take the wheels off and give that a good cleaning and also give the underbody a good spray off.
Okay, now moving on to the wheels, which was probably a solid 45 minutes later. I didn't want to film all of it, but we had to pressure wash the car again, pressure wash the bottom, pick all that grass out that wasn't coming out. Well, you're finally able to start the wheels. Now we leaned them up against this wall where we could pressure wash all the mud away. And then we took them inside the shop and put them on our wheel roller where we could clean the inside and the outside with some iron eraser, mad acid, and some PNS brake buster. And if you guys are interested in the products that we use in our videos, there's a link in the description that'll take you to one shop that has everything we use. Now getting the wheels back on, it was finally time to take it into the shop where we could start doing a little bit more in-depth stuff. Starting with the engine bay, and when we moved down to the actual engine, you guys might notice that there's some steam coming off of it, which we were kind of confused about because we hadn't been running the car at all except for moving it into the garage. So if you guys have any idea how or why that would happen, leave a comment below because we were kind of confused. So as we saw on the WRX in the last video, and if you guys made it to that point in the video when we got to the iron removal, that car had a lot of iron in the clear coat and this one does too. So when we sprayed the iron eraser on it, we let it sit for a little bit 
and this was the result of what happened. All the iron started coming out of the clear coat. If you guys have any idea why this is happening to these cars that are going off-roading, leave a comment. It could just be coincidence, but this is a lot of iron. And moving on to the interior, we spared no time in getting these seats out because the owner was set to pick up the car in only a few hours. So we got the seats out and we started getting to work on the floors, getting them vacuumed and then cleaning everything up. So we didn't take any very long shots, but we thought you guys might like seeing a different type of video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, let us know down below. Okay, so I wasn't quite sure how to put all that together yet, but I thought it might be fun to have a little bit of real-time detailing instead of always having all the sped up stuff. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down below. If you didn't, also let me know. That way I know moving forward what kind of stuff you guys wanna see from us.
And that was the extent of the interior. We just gave it a really good clean and we also did a bunch of stuff off camera like the back. But then we went ahead and torqued down the wheels to spec. That way we know this car is safe for the driver to drive. And then to finish up the detail, we put on some tire dressing and Colonite 845 wax and this car was good to go. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. And like I said at the beginning, we have something really cool coming next week. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you're subscribed.